Welcome back to another Dark Souls 2 lore through. We've made it here to the uh, Dragon Airy, and we already have this uh, shortcut open up, so I'm going to see what this is. Maybe they changed a layout or something. Oh. Can I skip this whole thing? I'm gonna go through it, but I think that puts you over to uh, right before the bridge, where you cross over to the shrine. Oh, well, anyway. Huh, which way do I go? Well, this is a, an arrival point, okay. We have a blocked path which I guess is why they made it so you could skip this? I don't know. I guess this is just now an optional area. But I'm gonna get the, uh, the stones and all the twinklings. Oh. Careful. Now, yeah, so in the original game, the eggs were linked to an event. And uh, I don't know if they're linked to an event here. Nice. Um, but basically, um, there's a big long bridge that gets you the next section, and at a certain point, the um, <laughs> the there's a dragon that comes and like can tear down the bridge, and apparently the timing of how long it took for that to happen was based on how many eggs you cracked in the actual level. Don't know if that's a thing here. Ooh, went back a little farther than I expected. Flame quartz ring. So yeah, I guess what I'll do here is I will I'll kind of come through and kill the uh, the dragons, and then I guess maybe uh, off camera I will come back and try to get all of the like. Oops. <laughs> get all of the, um, like, twink, uh, crystal wizards. Oh, I think it's a crystal wizard location. I guess I'm dead, I don't know why. So yeah, we're gonna break eggs, I guess. Oh good, you don't have to break them to get this anymore. That used to be a, uh, something where you'd have to break them in order to get that. Um, there's also a lot of like places to fall and stuff here. I'm not gonna get everything like that. It's actually places where you can fall and there's no way to get back up, which is actually kind of weirdly uncharacteristic of Dark Souls, but I think the idea here is that... Huh. How did I... 
Why am I not getting hurt? Is this just stuff that it just like pushes you, maybe throws you off, but doesn't actually hurt you now? Um, but I guess because you have the, f the feather, it kind of justifies, well, there should be no reason that you couldn't homeward bone. Excuse me. I don't know that I like that in general, because it just, like, it's kind of like a waste of your time. You know, if you find a place... And then it's like, okay, the only way to get back is by going, you know, homeward boning and then doing the whole part again. It's like, why can't you just make a way for me to get up? So, yeah, these guys are all new. Uh, there's a couple of these guys, I suppose, in the original, but... A lot more of them now. Uh... Oh, interesting. But I just chose to came, come this way because that probably is bothersome during the battle with the uh, dragon. where they don't fly They're pretty uh, pretty easy I mean the guardian dragon in general is pretty easy but that should have hit me They're all dropping fire related things. Ancient primal pyromancy. Giant pillars of flame are up near the caster. The fire tempest incinerates all life. What menace was so great as to make such a fearsome spell necessary? The dragons? cool if the dragons did fly around in this arena. I guess they don't really have, like, they don't have, like, one of the moves that happened was, what? Oh god. <laughs> monster. That's funny. You monster. So here's one of the said areas, uh, somewhere along this path. Yeah, I don't know what it is down there, um, but it's probably not worth. Well, you know what? It's a new, it's a new game. needed one of those. Wow. I guess this is a good time to... replace this with this. Oops. Alright. Well, let's go through it again. This time I can, uh... 
Maybe get some of the crystal lizards. At least in the original, the dragons didn't respawn. I guess I don't really know. Maybe they do know. That certainly wouldn't be fun. up here. Oops. Oh, I see what's going on. They're not damaging you at all. I should have guessed. Oh, and one, one of my things is broken completely. Okay. Well, I'm gonna want to repair that. Maybe not right now. I mean, this isn't that big of a deal in this area. Oops! <laughs> it's like literally looking up at the uh, <laughs> the dragons. I was just like, oh, look how nice they look. Boom! Dead. Okay. So where did all these guys come from? I assume they came... I mean, like, did one run behind me here that I didn't notice? I think some came out of this hole here. I guess they all did. Okay. See if I missed any still crystal lizards here. Okay, there's one over there. Did pretty well with this area. Uh, and I'm gonna want him to run. Good materials. Uh, I guess. Of course, I didn't kill that guy. Um, I'm gonna do a repair powder just in case my drain lake mail is so low. Didn't, I guess I could have checked it. Alright. Uh, and then you can do a plunge attack on this guy. I always found it more effective to come this way, but that's just me. Okay, well, there's these guys. Guess I should have waited. Ooh, we're into the evil eye. Do we ever get that? I think we must have. He also has a uh, 
he can bite with his head or he kind of turns around. But so far he hasn't even attempted that. Man, we're just getting a bunch of stuff. I feel like there's more petrified somethings in this game. Like, by a factor of like four, but maybe I'm wrong. So yeah, you can fall down and on him. So yeah, I think that brings you back to an area where you can get up to drop the ladder down and take this line all the way to the end. I wonder why, I mean, I guess they're just like, this is an optional area now. A drop, an optional airy. So here's the uh, bridge as mentioned. Um, I don't know if the amount of eggs I broke will make this so that this falls in a second, but. Okay, the Dragon Shrine, which is very different than the original. And we should be visited by the Scholar here. It was a lot smaller somehow. Young Hollow, how do you grapple with a photo with this dreadfully twisted world? Peace grants men the illusion of love. Shackled by fools who stay young for love, unaware of his grand illusion. Until the curse touches the flesh. We are bound by this yoke. As true as the dark that turns within men. All men trust fully the illusion of life. But is this so long? A construction of facade, and yet a world full of wounds and scandals. No, hello. Are you intent on shattering the oak, spoiling this wonderful fortune? I am all you. I sought to shed the yoke of fate, but failed. Now, I only wait an answer. Seek the throne. Seek light, dark, and what lies beyond. Hmm. So he's Aldia of Aldia's Keep fame. And he um, is the scholar of the first sin. I mean, I don't know if that's ever, I'm sure, maybe it's the name of his boss battle or something, because you'll, you'll fight him at the end. Spoilers! But, um, the, uh, so yeah, Aldi is the one that attempted to, I guess he and his brother were probably doing the same thing, or maybe it was only Aldia and Bender got credit for it, but basically, you know, through his experimentations, um, and we'll skip more information about what sort of experimentations he was doing, he was trying to break the yoke, as he says, um, uh, but he failed. Um, and he seems to imply right now that it can't be done. Um, that, you know, kind of revealing this illusion as I mean I feel like this is all very colorful um, I don't know how much of it is it's very firmly rooted in a philosophy but maybe I'm just too stupid to understand it but I mean he seems to imply that like like Luca Teal like life is the curse um, that peace is the illusion of like life I guess and you know he's just using these same metaphors that we've used before like dark is peaceful dark is humanity I'm gonna go back to Majula 
um, and all this stuff. But um, when he asked if I was going to break the yoke, which I assume me now I'm not, now I'm doubting whether or not he's encouraging us to walk away from the throne. I think he might want us to do it. So yeah, in this game, when um, I'll be around. I guess we don't need the bracing knuckle ring. What am I doing? Um, what should we put on here? I guess let's do more uh, physical attack. Because we always need that. Um, okay. Well, let us go back to Dragon Shrine. So yeah, Aldia. It's interesting. So this is what I understand about how this is different. So now, before this was just a terrible gauntlet. There's a bunch of really tough enemies and no, that wasn't me. Okay, we're gonna restart. So, uh, this is my understanding of this. So those dragon uh, warriors or whatever, the ones that just came after me, they kind of are the referees of this area now. And basically what happens is that you're supposed to, yeah, they do a bow, and then you're supposed to fight this guy honorably, which by the way, this is the, uh, this is like the old knights. However, they don't look as old. Like, it looks like these guys were probably them in a more pure form. Ooh. Almost. So anyway, if you run away from your obligation to fight these people, these guys start to come after you. Um, and otherwise they'll leave you alone. It's completely changed this area, and um, and I think it's for the for the better. You do have to fight everything, otherwise you will get ganked. But in this situation, uh, at least for right now, um, I'm only going to need that to do that. I mean, I'm not going to fight the, the the quote unquote boss of this area just now. We'll do that later. So anyway, there's a Ferris Lockstone, and I guess that's why there was a Ferris Lockstone beforehand, just so you had it. There's some interesting items in here. Or at least there were. Not as uh, big in this game uh, as they were in the first, or not as mysterious. Oh, here's a dragon remnant. Um, that's the Dragon Covenant. But these are Velka's things. A mask honoring an ancient goddess. Sin was said to be her domain, but the name of this goddess is long forgotten, Velka. Little is known about the, what purpose the mask served, only that it was worn by a person of great authority. Um, this doesn't really add much to Velka, but it is interesting that a partner by the way, the, the guy that we saw in the church, um, he, you know, was wearing this set. So, I mean, obviously, in some regards, the partners are still around. And apparently one visited the, uh, the shrine. So, anyway, they bow. And I meant to... Oh, boys. <laughs> oh, that did not heal me, by the way. I didn't even notice that. Ooh. Alright, this might be a little harder than I was thinking. That's the thing, don't get hit. Oh, 
I like how the, those guys are like watching the fight, like they're interested in it. Alright. Scary though, whenever they move. Just, they have to be able to. They have to be able to dodge earlier, because um, if I get stuck on that, if I get stuck on that um, sequence, what do you call that? Combo. It's no hope for me. So, I think I'm still like I think in Dark Souls. Although, I didn't always dodge the best there either, but like, in Dark Souls I feel like... Ooh. When you press dodge, it kind of like, is a little bit more immediate. I know and I'll probably do really well dodging in Dark Souls 3, because I think that's pretty quick, but um... I just, I'm just always like trying to press it at the last second, and that always gets me in trouble. It's a very small move. to heal. We're gonna go up this way. Is there a secret wall? Can I do this? Can I go up here? Are you guys gonna be mad? Used to be a guy here. Okay. Okay. Getting more twinkling titanite than we really need. Oh, there's a the guy with the bow and everything. Jumping out, that was what I planned. Cool. Drake Keeper stuff. An extremely sturdy pitch black great axe. Colossal warriors staunchly watch over the shrine, ready to defend its resident or allow one worthy enough to be granted audience. So I guess that's the thing, it's like a trial. Oh, we didn't read Dragon Tooth. A giant dragon tooth used to be a great hammer. Um, as solid as a boulder, this tooth is said to be taken from a dragon, but the truth of this claim is unclear. What is certain is that it bears some mystical power and its wielder gains resistance to magic and fire, which is the case in one. An extremely sturdy pitch black grape shield. Colossal warriors staunchly watch over the shrine. So it's interesting that the Drake Keepers are the ones that became the old... The old, um... Knights in hides and, and, and some other places. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that was bad. It's not doing well here. Okay. And we're going to take a detour here over to this area. And see what happens. Okay, is this a mimic? There was one of these was a mimic before. 
I think the one that was here. This doesn't look like a mimic. I don't want to attack it actually. Because I might be able to ruin it, so it doesn't look like a mimic to me. Oh, a slab. So this is where you would expect to see slabs. Who is this? Bashful Ray. Do we need someone summoned for this area? Um I know with the giants in Black Gulch, like, more giants appear if you summon people, so I'm, like, kind of nervous to summon if that means that we'd have to face more people. Yeah, and then we have this guy. Ooh. This actually might be... Oh, God. So what am I supposed to do here? Like, I can't leave this fight to take on an invader. Oh wow, I'm just... I don't know if this is a real invader or... Oh my god. This guy is no joke. He's done that to me three times already, and I'm still like, what? Okay. Seems like it might be a real invader. Okay. Oh god. Drake Keeper Helm. I'm gonna wait. Read it quick. Giant Onyx Helmet. Something dark indeed eats away at the Drake Keeper's eternal guardians of the shrine. See, I feel like if it was a real invader. Ooh, look at that. So there's a dragon with light shining behind him, a bunch of people looking up at him. Evokes some other uh, images we've seen before, but we will see that um, image again. Third dragon ring. Okay, so I was trying to get the second dragon ring, and I later learned that. Um, um, you have to beat Freya and talk to Man Scorpion Tark. Tar well, and we'll go back and do that, but um, I guess <laughs> we missed the first two. Now we've got the third. It's pretty much like the Fap Ring, Favor and Protection. Gives you more. So this is where the invader was before. Um, and he might invade when you steal the dragon egg, and I don't want the other guy to know that... Okay, there. Just in case it's someone. Oh, what was that backstab? I don't know if this is a real guy, because that, uh... doesn't seem to be acting like a, a fake... invader. He also seems to be having some lag issues.
this is fun. <laughs> are so easy to parry just because they they have so many hits <sighs> when is this guy gonna fights that go on forever because Ooh, got behind me there. Yeah, what's his game here? God, I really hope this is a I hope this is a real invader because I do not want to fight this guy again. Please have been real. I guess it doesn't matter, I beat him. Okay. So, there's this item here. Petrified egg. And again, like, there used to be an invader here. I don't know if it was the guy called Friendly Friend. But I think he invaded when you picked that up, so... So, shake this, okay. More petrified stuff. Okay, let's read this egg. Uh, I think it's a key item. Or maybe it's just a, a regular inventory item here. Oh, also, I realized I grabbed a, ta a dragon scale at the last um, episode and I didn't read it. Sorry about that. A scale from the body of an ancient dragon offered to the dragon to bring your own flesh closer to that of the eternal ancient dragon. Touching an ancient dragon scale gives one a glimpse into the abyss. Believers in the dragon will rise above this petty corporeal existence. So yeah, there's a dragon covenant similar to um, Dark Souls 1, and I went on at length um, on Dark Souls 1 as to what they believe and why they are trying to transcend via the dragons. Uh, it doesn't change much here, but you can kind of see that. I don't know what the abyss has to do with the dragon. Maybe it's uh, it's descended from Calamite or something. But believers in the dragon will rise above this petty corporeal existence. And petrified egg. A large petrified egg surely bears no life. Eggs are vessels that harbor life itself and symbolize the deepest secrets of existence. But what does a petrified egg harbor? You know, slumbering antiquity? It is interesting, there is a, an important egg in the, uh, in the third Dark Souls, so maybe it's relations. Um, but anyway, the um, Magarold in the Iron Keep said that he really wanted to explore the shrine of dragons or something. I don't know what he said, um, but um, he. Uh, I told him we would bring him something back if we got to find it, and we did. All right, let's try to complete the rest of this gauntlet here. Okay. So it looks like there's, is there one guy that I have to fight? Okay. 
These guys are easy to parry, actually. Oh, but there are tanks. I guess I am worthy to go see what is at the top of this dragon shrine. Uh, or fight some more people. I guess the it's just it's just really preventing you from uh, I'm running through, which sucks because I want to kill the uh, this thing. Maybe I'll skip it. I don't know. Um, maybe they made it better. I don't know. But uh, um, I'll probably do a thing where I just record myself playing without commentary, and then whenever I beat it, I will include it <laughs> in the in the in whatever video I'm doing because I have I you know. Not great with the Ancient Dragon. Obviously, after I beat him on my like first couple playthroughs, I didn't want to ever fight him again, so I never did. Um, as he's not all that necessary, but uh, anyway. Now, it is interesting because, to me... I said earlier when we beat the Duke's Dear Freya that um, I wonder if we like anger this guy that all of these guys will be angry anyway. Like so if we fight him, oh man this is going to be terrible. Um, <laughs> everything else I like that they've done here with like these dragon warriors and, and the battles and the honorable duels. And, proving yourself worthy but if this if I kill this guy maybe if I kill this guy everyone disappears that would be fun anyway I said earlier after beating Duke Steer Freya that um, he looked like that looked exactly like Seath however he probably I, I don't know if I was being fair it looks like this guy's head looks a lot more like that dragon just because of the way that the um, the uh, horns come out of the top like that. Other than that, I don't know, but like that certainly is is uh, more similar. Uh, but maybe that's just a dragon thing in this game, All right? And now he talks with us, but telepathically. We get an ashen mist heart. And the dragon says, the curse of life is the curse of want. And um, the throne that we go to sit on is called the throne of want. Also, there's some things associated with Miss Chandra called that are labeled as want. So it's interesting, you know, there is this... Um, kind of association of life and want and peace and darkness. It's kind of interesting. But anyway, we get the Ashen Mist Heart. Um, 
Do we get anything new, by the way? I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything, because I always miss stuff. Yeah. We guess we didn't read the third dragon ring. A, dra a dragnet signet ring. Grants its bearer protection of dragons. Increases HP, stamina, and maximum load, but is easily broken. Ralmund, knight of Drang Lake, served the king by guarding the fort until his own demise, and it was said to have cherished this ring throughout his life of service. So yet another knight. We know about Drummond, we know about Ralmund. Okay. And then this. Yeah, it doesn't say anything that new. And then we got this thing. Delve into the memories of the Withered. Manifestation of Ashen Mist received from the Ancient Dragon. The magic of the Ancient Dragon allows one to delve into the memories of the Withered. Well, that allows us to basically... Um... go and see what happened in the past and the first stop I'm gonna do to I mean we're gonna do a whole thing of this um, but I actually want to do a quick little detour if I can <laughs> afford to do this I'm probably gonna die cuz you know I re unleashed all these beings can survive. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. I think it would be hard to still like touch the fog door if I was trying to just get to the boss but okay I you know I didn't do a great planning here but I believe that because we have the ashen mist heart we can actually go you see the king um, when he was not hollowed okay good we will do this quite a few times um, oh yeah, if we go back that way, it'll say you're losing grip on the memory. So yeah, here's Vendrick before he uh, went hollowed. He's huge. Seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. I am Vendrick. Ruler of Drang Lake. Yeah, I know. As flame rises, so does it fade. Such is the way of things. He knew that. Do you intend to link the fire? No. Then you must first take the throne. Prove your worth. Find the ancient crowns. Seek adversity, and they will be yours. And your wishes granted. And your wishes. So he says, find the ancient crowns. That is the. Uh, he also um, made the connection between. Um, oh, wow. Was that a. Uh, I think that was um, Felstad. That's cool. Um. He made a link between taking a seat on the throne and um, and linking the flame. He's, I think he's the first person in the game to say link the flame, which is cool. But now, we'll take care of one last 
kind of loose end here that I've been trying to do for a while. In fact, how much time do we have? We have 10 minutes. I think we can do this. Um, we, uh, We want to finally talk to Kale. This will be it. <laughs> and we can stop talking to Kale after this. Now that we have the Ashen Mist Heart, that was the trigger. Even more. Oh, please. Have be it. it seems that... Wait. Oh, here. What am I doing here? Who are you again? Fate brought us together for a reason. Take these. And may they help you on your travels. So we've completed Kale's quest. It seems that all it may wait. Who are you again? Yeah. Um What is that one? Oh, is that Throne Watcher and Defender? Cause like this would be like Drain Lake Castle would be up here on this edge or right here maybe. And then we went underground. Huh. Um, okay, so let us, oops, Kale's Helm, Helm of a Light Mira Foot Soldier, brought, belonged to Kale the Cartographer. Apparently Kale procured this inexpensively second hand, but it's surprisingly well made. Armor of a Light Mira Foot Soldier, apparently Kale, yeah. So we don't get a ton of uh, lore here. But we know that he was from Mira. We've always known that. Um, but apparently he was a foot soldier, so he was more of a lower end thing. So I believe we have enough to do a, a quest line. And it won't actually take long because of what the way we've done it. So I'm going to do a quick level up. On you? And and buy my stuff. I use twenty one. Wow. Uh, I think I needed more. Um... Oh, I haven't leveled that up at all. That's plus five. Plus seven. So I think I need a couple chunks. Oh, we did get a couple chunks. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'll do this off screen. I just want souls for it. Um, so. Kind of maxed my stats for um, what we're doing. So I guess we'll. Wow. Okay. Can only level up once. I do have a bunch of. Uh, I do have a bunch of souls, I guess I could have done dead, but... So yeah, basically, we need to be hollow to do this. You know what? We'll just do a, uh, a loose ends video, because there's actually a couple things I want to do here. So we're going to call it uh, good for this, and we'll start next uh, episode with loose ends. Thanks for watching.